Okay, so, uh, yeah. Today is Saturday. Um, yeah, today is Saturday, and uh, we're... I'm behind. I'm behind on everything, and I'm pretty sure that every farmer that watches this channel is behind in some way or another. Uh, I haven't gotten a pound of fertilizer on the ground yet. It's in the tanks. I was going to start hitting it this weekend, uh, but that didn't happen because um, I was short on some parts for my for my sprayers, and I can't. It's a pressure regulator valve is bad on the Commander, and I don't know. I could probably, possibly, and should definitely pull the 1100 Navigator up to the shop and get that taken care of, uh, get that thing ready to go. But we just had six-tenths of an inch of rain, and six-tenths of an inch of rain can really screw the pooch when it comes to putting fertilizer down because we're just drying out enough that we can get on to put fertilizer down but we're not dry enough to actually uh, you know we're just get fertilizer down I still have hay to make it's driving me crazy uh, but yeah what can I what can I do what can I say what can I com combat today um, on a, another note I bought an, a corn planter in Kentucky out in Hardinsville Hardensburg. Hardensburg? Let me look. I think it's Hardensburg or Haydensburg, Kentucky. Hardensburg, Kentucky. That's where I bought this corn planter, so I'm going to have to go and get that. That's going to be a 24-hour run. Uh, yeah, so <coughs> it's going to be a tough spring, I think. I, I keep thinking back to 2014 when my sister passed away. I was just getting her back to... Uh, New Jersey and I hadn't put a pound of fertilizer on at that point either so I guess um, I guess I'm as behind as I was then and you know it was tough but we did it you know we got we did get it done uh, in that one month time so by the time I'm done putting fertilizer on this year if everything goes well then I'll have enough time to get that corn in the ground yay and uh, we should be doing okay so Anyways, let me get on to doing things that I need to do, like getting that baler done. It is Saturday, and it looks like my parts arrived. I'm going to go down and get them. And I don't have parts delivered anywhere but my parents' house. Not to the farm. Well, sometimes they come to the farm, but for the most part, they go to the house. Not my house. My parents' house. There's a reason for that. And I won't get into it right now, but there is a reason for that. There's always a reason for just about everything that I do. But anyway... Okay, so in here is a bag of goodies. That's something I had before. Um, I've got this little nozzle here. This is one piece. It's just a foam chamber. That's all. It's the foam chamber. Somehow, Dad got it into the bushes, I guess, and broke it off. Uh, and we couldn't find it. And these things aren't exactly cheap, but they're easy enough to replace. Quite easy to replace. It's all part of a different thing. There's a washer in there. Inside there, there's a washer. And they've taped the washer to this one, in which I can just pull that silicone little sucker off of there. And you put it on the inside there. And then you do this. And this, my friend, is how you fix that. So the box of goodies that came it's really, you know, it's like what I call the thousand dollar box. It is like a thousand dollar box. Now I've got other pieces of this. Now I'll keep these. I will keep these over here. I have a bucket with all my bits and pieces in for these hardy sprayers. And that bucket's probably got five, three to five thousand dollars worth of bullshit in it. Um, but what I'm doing is I'm actually just getting this sprayer ready to go because we have to start putting fertilizer down. And to me, it just isn't worth it to uh, get ahead of the game there. Uh, not get ahead of the game, but let's say jump the gun. These are the nozzles. I've got the bodies. They're in that bucket, so I'm going to put everything in there. These are pieces for the foam marker. These are those compression fittings. 
the foam marker. They rotted off on this one, so I ordered four, and I uh, only needed two for this one and one for the other, so I actually have a spare, and I can deal with that. But the main problem that I'm having with this sprayer oh, is right here, is this guy. And I've got it half assembled. Um, all I have to do is plug it in, and I should be good, but I have to find where the plug is, and that has proven to be a pain in the ass because I don't know where in the hell the thing went. I'm pretty sure it's down in there, but you never know. Anyway, I've got to dig around in here. No, I need that. Is it here? No. So it's probably down underneath. It's probably down underneath there. And i got to find it. So what I'll have to do is pull this decking up and see where it's at. I know I unplugged it. So it's got to be there. Uh, but anyway, this is the new one, and it's just a simple plug. The old one is not really any big deal. I can just... Uh, I do have to replace these little giblets here, these micro switches, and then this will work again. Hopefully. I'm not even sure, but it should work again. But uh, let me see if I get this deck up, and then we'll see if we can get this thing uh, functioning. Okay, so I'm done with this sprayer. It's ready to get to the field here. Uh, I'm going to do a summary of what I did because I'm alone today. My ex-wife is getting married again for the third time today it's Saturday and uh, the boys are not here so I'm just kind of doing the things that I'll do uh, until they get back so all right had a little bit of an electrical problem which you know it's kind of to be expected with these things uh, as they are uh, you know in a very dirty confined uh, area where moisture and stuff can get to them. I don't put them inside in the... Ooh, did you hear that? Damn, somebody stepped on a duck. Uh, it must be because of my acid reflux disease, I'm thinking. But uh, anyway, uh, yeah, the... Uh, this uh, spray is ready to go. Uh, I did the electrical thing. I don't put them inside in the winter, and I really should. I just drain everything out of them, and you know, they get used so much uh, on a yearly basis that the weather isn't going to destroy them as fast as what I am. And I've actually owned this sprayer for 10 years with very little uh, problems with it. Let's put it that way. I could say problems. I, don't, I just don't have problems with them. I know there's so many people out there that are telling me, get rid of these hardies, buy yourself a Miller or whatever the hell, a fast sprayer or whatnot. And, okay, you know, if you're, if you're telling me to get rid of this thing, uh, maybe I would agree with you if you were paying the bill. But like I said, I've owned this thing, this particular one, for 10 years. I think I got that, the 1100 in somewhere around 13, 2012 or 2013, I think was the first year I had that. And again, that one has run more flawless than this one. It really has. Uh, I have to go get it and figure out what the problem is. What that shaft is. They've given me a shaft, but I don't think it's the right one. I really don't. I may have to go back out to Richland and go over it again with them because I'm pretty sure that I don't have the solution to the problem that I was having. Uh, yeah. So everything here seems to be working. This here had, I need one of these on here. They gave me the wrong valve when I did that. Um, so you just don't know. As long as you don't mess with this, you're fine. But, uh, yeah. So, I guess everything's done. Ready to go. I'm just going to clean up my tools and stuff. I could go up here in the uh, cab and show you the monitor. It's like a Mustang monitor, I think. It is. It's a Mustang 3500. So, you turn it on. <coughs> it tells you that everything that you need to know. And before I was having a little electrical issues, I just couldn't. I couldn't figure it out, so I pulled the plugs apart and uh, cleaned them up real nice, and now I can hear them working. The light is on. It's telling me there's an error because there's no flow rate. Uh, the error is also, it shuts those booms off uh, until you get moving because it's on the speed control. And if you look back there, the new valve, uh, let me get it into manual mode. You can see that that thing is twisting on there. I don't like that idea. 
yeah. So that's working, the little yellow thing there, it's working. So I'm pretty happy, everything's gonna work. I just turn the power off and we're done until, until, uh, yeah, we're done until tomorrow. I'm probably going to start spraying a little bit in the morning. Uh, hopefully this, tomorrow morning I'll be able to get going with this. i got to go see Dad. And then I'm going to pull the big sprayer and pull that into the shop um, tomorrow morning. I leave tomorrow afternoon for uh, North Carolina. I've got to go down there for two days and then come back. No big deal. I'll probably leave on Tuesday night to be back here for uh, Wednesday morning. I have a lot of shit that needs to get done here. So, but I have to go down there. There's things that need to be done. And boy, that was cool. Um, yeah, I don't know what that's about, but whatever. This needs to be tightened up a little bit, I guess. The handle on there. So, yeah, that's just the long and the short of it, you know. Sometimes you got to do things you really don't have time for, but you just got to do them, you know. You just, you just got to do them. I think I'm actually going to take the uh, radios out of here and put Midland... Uh, uh, marine band radios in. See how I go that route. I don't know. Got to figure that out. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see if I can find something else that's wrong.